The pancreas plays an important, if not the most important role in sustaining homeostasis of the gastrointestinal system. This presentation will explore the exocrine portion of the pancreas, including the enzymatic functions within chemical digestion in the small intestine and clinical relevance of common pancreas dysfunction. The exocrine tissue makes up 98% or more of the pancreas and is where pancreatic juice containing digestive enzymes makes its way into the duodenum for the majority of digestion to occur ready for absorption. The remaining pancreatic mass is made up of endocrine tissue, islets of Langerhans, which secrete hormones such as insulin and glucagon. Pancreatic juice finds its way into the duodenum via the duct of Wursung. Once in the small intestine, pancreatic juice along with bile and gastric juices secreted from the walls of the intestines mix with the partially digested food called chyme. Chyme arrives from the stomach with a strong acidic pH of approximately 1.5. The pancreatic juices help neutralise this acidic pH of the chyme with its alkaline secretion. The pancreatic juice is a mixture of two types of secretions, an enzyme-rich secretion and an aqueous alkaline secretion. The alkaline fluid, which is rich in bicarbonate, resembles cell plasma and is made up of varying concentrations of sodium, potassium, magnesium, calcium and chloride. The enzyme-rich secretion, released from the pancreatic achenar cells, comprise the major enzymes involved in food digestion. These include amylase to break down carbohydrates and starches, lipase to break down triglycerides, nucleases to break down nucleic acids, and proteases to break down proteins. The major proteolytic enzymes, trypsinogen, chymotrypsinogen, procarboxypeptidase, and proelastase, are secreted as inactive precursors to ensure autodigestion does not occur in the pancreatic tissue. When trypsinogen is secreted, an enzyme called enterokinase found in the brush border of the small intestine catalyzes trypsinogen to be converted to trypsin. Once trypsin is activated, a chain reaction occurs converting other precursor enzymes to their active forms. To maintain an optimal digestive environment, Regulation of the pancreatic secretions is controlled by hormones such as secretin and cholecystokinin and via both parasympathetic and sympathetic nerves of the nervous system. According to the location of chyme in the gastrointestinal tract, there are three different phases in which pancreatic juice secretion and inhibition are controlled. These are the cephalic phase, the gastric phase and the intestinal phase. During the cephalic phase, sensory stimuli elicit increased pancreatic secretion via impulses in the vagus nerve of the nervous system. The juice secreted here is mainly the enzyme-rich secretion, containing very little bicarbonate. The gastric phase begins in the stomach and secretion of pancreatic juice is stimulated via hormonal response. Activation of chemoreceptors in the walls of the stomach causes the rela release of the hormone gastrin from G cells into the local circulation. During the gastric phase, the secretion of both the enzyme-rich and the alkaline components of pancreatic juice is increased. The intestinal phase is probably the most important phase of response to food. Within the duodenum, both the alkaline and the enzyme-rich components of pancreatic juice are secreted. The alkaline component responds to acid in the chyme, which stimulates the release of secretin from the walls of the intestine. Secretin, which is carried by the blood and released in response to a low pH, causes stimulation of the alkaline component. Cholecystokinin is another hormone secreted by cells in the small intestine. The fats and peptides in the chyme cause the release of cholecystokinin into the blood, which stimulates the achenar cells to secrete enzymes. Additionally, cholecystokinin stimulates the gallbladder to contract and release stored bile into the intestine, further action on the chyme contents. Trypsin in the duodenum inhibits the release of pancreatic enzymes via inhibition of cholecystokinin release. When the pancreas does not function correctly, the consequences may include diarrhea, bloating, malnutrition and a variety of digestive disorders. An overly fatty diet or excessive alcohol consumption may lead to blockages of the main pancreatic ducts which prevent the exocrine secretions reaching the duodenum and may result in more serious conditions such as chronic or acute pancreatitis. According to the Clinical Practice Guideline Management of Acute Pancreatitis, the underlying pathogenesis is the premature activation of proteolytic enzymes resulting in the autodigestion of the pancreas. Furthermore, da Costa et al. proclaim that acute pancreatitis is a serious, life-threatening illness. 
With pancreatic dysfunction in mind alone, should the equilibrium of enzymatic and alkaline secretions alter, the optimal conditions for digestion along the entire gastrointestinal tract will reflect imbalance. Therefore, one can see how important the homeostatic functioning of the pancreatic secretions are in the role of not only digestion, but in maintaining homeostasis of the whole body.